Then are you Ugandans? Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to address you again today on the Uganda Education and Sports Sector Preparedness and Response to the Coronavirus, also known as COVID-19 pandemic and its effects. As you are aware, the President gave further directive on 14th of April 2020 for additional lockdown for 21 days. He stressed the fact that Uganda as a nation is not yet out of danger from this coronavirus that has become a crisis globally. In my first statement of the 4th April 2020, I address myself to two main issues. One, reopening of schools and continuity of learning at home. Regarding the reopening of the schools and institutions, I informed you that the sector will be guided by the National Task Force on Coronavirus if this coronavirus would have been contained in the first 30 days of school closure that were expiring on 20th April 2020. The tentative dates for reopening of schools and institutions would be on 27th April 2020 and 2nd May 2020 respectively. I wish to inform you that this will not be possible in the present circumstances. Two, on continuity of learning, I informed you that this happens beyond the four walls of a classroom, but it can be reinforced by effective implementation of the whole curriculum. In the present circumstances of total lockdown, the greatest contributors to learning are now the parents and the immediate family members. I therefore reiterate my appeal to parents and families to help learning take place by involving the learners in their home activities to give them skills for life, such as cooking, such as cleaning, gardening, looking after animals, business, art, music, physical activity, play and sports, and many others. And to spend time with uh, your learners to develop their values and positive attitudes. To tell them stories, to tell them riddles and other life lessons and support their learning. Help your learners to make a craft or develop, we suggested, or develop an innovation which will be required at school at the reopening of schools. Counsel, guide, and encourage children to wait for the reopening of schools with enthusiasm and zeal. The ministry has produced a framework to guide the process of continuity of learning. We have also identified the basic competencies or concepts to study uh, and harmonized learning packages or materials for use in the continuity of learning while learners are still at home and prepared guidelines for local governments to ensure effective learning. These will be delivered on radios, and televisions and will mainly focus on P1 to P7 and secondary level. The learning by radios and TVs have started uh, today, Monday the 20th, April 2020. As I said before, these lessons will address basic concepts which learners at various levels have already covered. The purpose of this is to ensure consolidation of concepts already learned 
as a basis for further learning when schools open. In addition, learners will access pre-recorded lessons and other learners will access materials online. Self-study print materials for P1 to P7 have also been developed and will be distributed to learners. The ministry will hand these materials to the district leadership led by the RDC and the CAO. This will distribute to the sub-county chiefs who in turn will hand them to the parish chiefs. The parish chiefs will use the LC1 to hand them to individual homes. This is a system I believe can work, especially where the district leadership, the district leadership are active and uh, can monitor this program so that it can go all the way down to individual homes so that children don't have to run around the district looking for these materials. So I appeal to the local government uh, leadership to help us do this and use the system that is already there, the, the, uh, the sub-county chiefs who are facilitated through the, 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 the programs of COVID-19, and they in turn would get in touch with the, the parish chiefs and then go down to LC1 who would hand these materials to the homes. Proper records shall be kept at every level so that we know that we become sure at uh, the ministry level that these materials we sent out will really get to the, the, the children in the homes because that's the whole purpose, especially for those families who cannot access uh, email or, or sorry, work online or TVs or even radios, those are the ones we hope will not fail to access these materials. These materials will be a great resource to our learners even after the lockdown. A continuation of the systematic curriculum coverage will take place at school after the reopening. As we said last time, we did this because we didn't want anybody to fall between lines. We wanted to make sure that the, learn, the new learning material will come to everybody when schools reopen. So, with regard to the learning for pre-primary, and lower primary, P1 to P3, this will mainly be home-based. Allow these young children to enjoy their childhood by teaching them through play, songs, riddles, counting, listening, speaking, and writing in both local languages and English. Learners in Tibet institutions, tertiary institutions, and universities should engage in wide reading on various subjects, including economics, social systems, health inventions, and innovations. This will widen their knowledge base. As I mentioned before, these students should also read around the courses or their modules on their current semester using every possible means, especially at the internet, since they already have their course outlines. However, National Council for Higher Education will work with universities to ensure continuity of learning. Now, all teachers, instructors, and lecturers should effectively prepare for all the lessons and lectures for the current term or semester to redeem the time when schools and institutions reopen. Head teachers and heads of institutions 
are hereby instructed to give the teachers the necessary assistance for this preparation. As you may be aware, even after the, uh, the lockdown has been lifted, the education institutions will need to be prepared for resumption of learning. In this regard, the ministry plans to strengthen the program of uh, water sanitation and hygiene, psychosocial support, safety and security of learners and coordination with various stakeholders and working with Ministry of Health, we shall issue standard operation procedures to education institutions to ensure safety of learners and teachers. Finally, the Ministry will continue to actively monitor the situation and make further recommendations as guided by the President, the Ministry of Health, and the National Task Force on COVID-19. Please ensure your personal safety and that of the learners by following the national guidelines on coronavirus. Please avoid touching your eyes, your mouth, and nose. Wash with soap and use sanitizers as often as you can. Keep home. Keep at home and observe social distancing. We are praying. And we are trusting God, who is able to reverse this situation. We are confident that soon life will return to normal. Once again, I'd like to express my appreciation to all the government agencies, individuals, organizations, and education partners for the support they have continued to accord the ministry during this very difficult time. I would like to applaud all the health workers who are putting up a spirited fight to ensure recovery of the confirmed coronavirus cases and prevention of further infections. I will continue to update you on what is happening in the education and sports sector as we receive new, uh, new advice from the Ministry of Health. Please keep safe and do ensure that you are safe and our learners at home are safe. I thank you all and God bless you.